Good morning, guys. It is actually 9.30. Kids are in school. And this one went back to sleep. He's been sleeping since like 8 o'clock when we came home. <laughs> um, we have a few things that we need to get done today. But we're going to wait a little bit to do it. Right now, I'm just relaxing. Had breakfast. Had some coffee. <sighs> we're going to relax. So I'm all ready to go. But this one is still sleeping. Get your hands out of your pants. <laughs> hey. Come on, let's go. We gotta go shopping and get lunch. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's 10.30. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Baba, we gotta get him up. We gotta wake him up. It's a success. We finished all of the Christmas shopping. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So now I get to go home, bring them every, everything inside, and then wrap everything. The only thing I don't have is birthday wrapping paper for Nico, so that's the only thing that's not gonna get wrapped, so I'm gonna have to hide that in like our, our closet that we don't normally go into. Um, but I'll have to pick some of that up on Friday, hopefully. I what are we doing for lunch? Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I'll bleep it out then. <laughs> What do you want to do for dinner, for uh, not dinner, lunch? I was gonna say let's go into the, the food court, but there's a lot of food. Yeah, it's, it's, be, it's really it's, uh, hectic it's right, right now. now. Yeah, maybe we can just pick something up on the way. That's what I was thinking. Okay, we can do that. Really I'm craving Taco Bell. Um, I was me. thinking of running into Toys R Us and picking up Nico's uh, robot uh, gift paper real quick. Okay, yeah. Because it'll be in the front. Yeah, we can do that. So then we'll, we'll, have, then we'll have birthday wrap paper. I think I'll get to wrap it. Okay, it has officially begun. I'm going to do some Christmas wrapping. We have all the kids' Christmas presents here, and Vala's here. Hi, Vala. <laughs> she just wants to know what this is all about. I figured while I'm doing some Christmas wrapping, I will do the Christmas tag. Um, this has kind of been going around YouTube. Um, I, here, I got it kind of. I got it on my computer down here. So um, I figured that would be really fun to do while wrapping some Christmas presents but I'm also gonna be wrapping Nico's birthday presents because if you didn't know Nico was born on Christmas um, he's going to be three this year I'm really excited for him so the first question in the tag is what your favorite Christmas cartoon is I don't know if they mean like the Christmas movie cartoons um, I don't have I don't even know like a specific cartoon other than like Charlie Brown but as far as like cartoonish movies it would probably be Frosty the Snowman um what do you like about Christmas I think the main thing I like about Christmas is the fact that you are surrounded by family um family is very very important to me and I'm always very very grateful to have my family I think everyone's gonna say that about that question but to me Christmas um, is about family. What do you eat? Would you prefer turkey, ham, or duck? Our family does um, the seven Italian fishes on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas morning, we have a Christmas ham. That is what we have. We have ham on Christmas, and I love ham. I don't know what, it, I just I love ham. So, so ham. Favorite Christmas song? That is, uh, Oh my gosh, there's just so many. So many Christmas songs. Okay. I have so many that I love. I love um, That's Christmas to Me by the um, Pentatonics. Mary, Did You Know? And of course, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Those are my some of my favorite ones. I don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite because I just, I love Christmas. <laughs> favorite Christmas dessert. Um, favorite Christmas dessert is, it's a tie between Christmas cookies. We have these Italian cream cheese cookies that we make every year. Those are the ultimate cookie. They are so amazing. And my family also makes lemon meringue pie on Christmas. And that is my ultimate favorite. Favorite Christmas drink? That would be peppermint hot chocolate. I am not an eggnog person. I don't understand eggnog, so 
it's definitely not eggnog but i love peppermint i love things that are mint um mint is my favorite flavor uh so it's definitely peppermint hot chocolate what do you remember uh christmas as a kid um i just remember a lot of things from christmas um we always had Christmas Eve and Christmas morning at my dad's house uh, slash my grandparents' house because I lived with my grandparents um, and my dad and a whole bunch of other family members. Um, and then after lunchtime, my mom would come pick us up for the rest of Christmas Day. I think that's the main thing I remember about Christmas. But I just always remember also always having family, like tons of family over, tons of food and just always being surrounded by our family i think is the big thing as far as what i remember christmas as a kid we had a, we had very good christmases growing up what do you look forward to for christmas i look forward to now just seeing the look on my kids faces when they see santa claus and when we get to do our own christmas traditions and Val is about to knock everything off the bed um, I like being able to do our own family traditions and um, include them in the tra traditions that we grew up with. Um, also, I look forward to this year mostly. I look forward to um, our whole family is going to be home. So my brother just recently went into the army um, and my sister is actually coming home from Arkansas. So that's going to be really exciting this will be the first christmas in years literally years i think the last time that we were all together was right before we got married so that was like five years ago that we were all together for christmas so that's probably the thing that i'm most excited for for christmas where do you go for Christmas is the next question. And we have two families, two Italian families, so Christmas is very, very important. Um, with my family, we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve, we will be with my family. We will be staying there at overnight and opening presents Christmas morning. And then around lunchtime, we will be probably going I don't know if it's going to be at lunchtime or closer to dinner, but we're going to be going to um, Dom's grandparents' house to, oh, watch out. We're going to be going there for Christmas dinner with the rest of his family. So that's what we're going to be doing on Christmas. What does Christmas mean to me? So Christmas to me means a lot of things. Um, family is the big one. The closing of a year. Um, seeing how far we've come in the past year, how much we've grown as a family, personally, um, that kind of thing. Um, Christmas is just kind of, let's take everything that was good all year round and put it into one day and be grateful for what we have. I think that's more kind of what Thanksgiving's for, but for me, Christmas, it's just homey, it's safe, it feels... It's very comforting for me for Christmas. I think that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. It's just, it's filled with tradition. It's filled with, um, with love and caring and giving. And that's what Christmas means to me, if that makes any sense. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I just, I, I love Christmas. <laughs> I am officially done all of the Christmas presents all of Nico's birthday presents. He's obviously gonna get a little bit more than this for his birthday, but birthday. And this is just a whole bunch of Ariana and Nico all together. But I am super pumped, super pumped. But now the only thing is, is getting them to my grandmother's house without the kids knowing they exist. <laughs> so I think we're gonna throw them down in the basement for um, a couple of days. And I'm gonna call my grandma and see if I can drop all these off on her house on Friday when the kids are at school because hopefully I'm able to do that because <sighs> I have no idea how we would, would even get them in the car without the kids knowing that they're in the car without them not being here so we're gonna do that and then also they have two little stockings that we're gonna hang up over Dom's desk where he's gonna do it because I don't want to stand on the ladder right now but it is the season
Just got the call. Nico's not feeling good, so we're gonna go pick the kids up. I mean, it's three o'clock, so it's not too bad. Um, you would be picking them up in an hour anyway, but I'm just praying he doesn't throw up. Like, we're in a day. Let's just hope. That was lovely noises, babe. That's so attractive. Thank you. That's why I married you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> What's going on in here? Making cookies. And chocolate. And chocolate. For Santa. Oh, a little early. A little early. Santa's cookies don't come for another two weeks. <laughs> no. No. No, it's 12 days. A cold 12 days. days. Two weeks. Cold two weeks in the business. Nope. Nope. Two weeks in the business world. No. I don't no. count weekends, business days. So then actually be less days. Ten. Cookies. No. Two weeks. Two weeks business part. No, I get cookie, Daddy. Who wants to put this in? Me, me, me. Oh, Nico, Nico's hands Nico's up first. Good job. I'm trying to get the rest of it. Run. Me. Do the rest. Oh. Hey, Daddy. Daddy. Hey. No. Show it. Good job. Bring the. Should we put the mixer? Who wants to help yeah. me with the mixer? Me! Okay, come here. Me! 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 I'm so me. sorry. Me! 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 batch number one and those are the chocolate chip cookies this whole tin is filled with chocolate chip cookies um, now I'm working on the sugar cookies I was gonna make another kind but I think this will be good for now I'm gonna fill up one of these full of half and half sugar cookies and half chocolate chip cookies for Dom to bring to work tomorrow um, sadly he has to go back to work tomorrow it was nice having him home for um, the week, but or it wasn't even a week, it was more than a week. It was like, I don't even know, it was like almost two weeks. <laughs> but he can go back to work now, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. He's been home for quite a while. <laughs> but um, I don't even know what the kids are doing. What are you doing? Hey, I'm reading You're reading? You're reading a book? That. You're carrying a book? No, we heard that. Wow. We heard that. What are you eating? Is it good? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Come here. Come and look at that. Wow. Oh, you're watching, you're reading the elf book. Uh, he's in the back. Mm-hmm. Would you like guys like to see a little bit of behind the scenes of what unboxings are like? So I take the light that's usually hanging up here because it's got a really long cord. So I stack it up here on two nightstands. <laughs> I usually put the camera like right here and then I record. I think this is going to be our new backdrop for now because it just seems to be working the best. But yes, this is this is where the magic happens. <laughs> like the uh, the recording magic happens. But I'm going to go record this birch box 
right now and then I'm probably gonna go and take a shower um, and try to relax for the rest of the night. I just won a battle that just went on for an hour in this house. Literally, Nico did not want to go to sleep. He has a lot of sleep issues since we have moved to New Jersey. Um, I know it's a lot of stress with moving and new family members and all of that, but it's been going on since see we got here at the beginning of may so i want to say it started around the end of june like june july so probably when we moved to this house um he doesn't want to sleep in his bed he constantly wants daddy to tuck him in he doesn't listen to me um he wakes up in the middle of the night screaming his head off um he wants to sleep in our bed and then it got to a point where now ariana wants to sleep on our floor in like a big like a big squishy blanket and it's it's just getting to be too much like Dom and I are exhausted they're about to be um he's about to be three she's four now I'm like you should need to be sleeping in your own beds at this point um so we told them like you get one movie one movie only and then it goes off well Nico was not having that Ariana is really good as far as sleeping goes for the most part. Like I know if she comes to me in the middle of the night and wants to sleep on the floor, I go, no, you need to sleep in your bed. She's going to go and sleep in her bed. She's not really defiant as far as like sleeping. But Nico, on the other hand, yeah, Nico. <laughs> um, it's gotten to a point, it's just we are exhausted. And a lot of Dom and I's arguing is because of what to do with Nico especially when it comes to bedtime so it's just very stressful um so just now he did not want to go to bed so I just stood outside his door sorry I sat outside his door with the light hallway light on every time he got out I just put him back just put him back put him back no no talking nothing just put him back and it did that for an hour he is now in his bed he is sleeping he's quiet <laughs> but we're hoping when he wakes up in the middle of the night He's not screaming his face off because it's getting to a point where I don't think they're night terrors anymore because he's responding to what you're saying. He is looking at you. If you put him to bed, he gets out and you come into the room, he will run back to the bed. So I'm pretty sure he's awake. So I think honestly, we're just gonna have to do the same thing. Just keep putting him back to bed, putting him back to bed, not talking to him in the middle of the night. Just let him sleep. It's gonna be a very rough night for us. Just cross our fingers. We're gonna try this out. I'm hoping Super Nanny is right with all these tips. <laughs> But um, this is where I get a lot of our behavioral issue um, tips from is Super Nanny. And so far, all of them work really, really well. So thank you, Super Nanny, <laughs> um, for all your online videos, because I would be in a ball of tears in the back of the room right now if I didn't just watch a nighttime routine that you just have on your YouTube. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to edit this video, get it up and ready to go for tomorrow and i'm gonna say to you like and subscribe look i'm so tired i'm exhausted <laughs> um so please like and subscribe down below we are trying to get to 1000 subscribers and um yeah the only way we're gonna be able to do that is with the help of all of you guys so make sure you're hitting subscribe down below and we'll see you guys tomorrow good night guys